Hey there, Internet, and welcome. Pony here with Grog and Game, bringing you just a little bit of Battletech. I want to try to do a Let's Play series on this game, even though I know nothing about Mech Warrior or the lore, or have even played the amazing games that I have uh, recently been exposed to by doing a little bit of research about this. As you see, we're a little bit in. I got past kind of the beginning part of the game tutorial, first kind of training wheels off mission. So I'm going to continue from here. I did actually lose somebody already. Had to hire another person. And uh, I'm not really going to go too in-depth into loadouts and all that other good jazz. I'm just worried about jumping and playing the game. So let's find us a contract. we got to get us some work. So we can either capture a base for 214 or supply a base. Hmm. I'm greedy. Let's go get that money. Oh, we got to travel to Detroit to do that, but we can totally do this here. And it's a polar region, so our heat convection should be really good. Should be awesome. So what are we doing here? Uh, da, 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 boring. All right, we got to destroy a base. Cool. Let's negotiate that contract. I'm a little... Ooh. I'm a little more interested in the salvage than I am the money, but... I don't know if 53 grand is going to do me too good. We may have to go down to one piece of salvage for right now because I need that 130,000 bones. I don't. Uh, can we do two? Uh, do we need rep bonus? I, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm going to take the money on this one. Take the money. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. I do have mechs in work go um let's go back right now yeah we're gonna have to hit this one up after a little bit man because uh we still got work going in on our locust and our spider and our spider did some work on the very first mission i don't yeah let's do i'm good i'm good let's let's keep that going let's advance time and go from here Got a new financial report for you, Commander. All right, financial report for our, uh, our little setup here. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. That's why we need that money, though. Uh, next month's expense level options. So, yeah. Normal. I have no idea about the details of this game. We're nearly broke, Commander. So we're nearly broke. We got 29 days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Whatever. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. All right. So we do have a guy that's out of action, but luckily for us, we did pick up an extra mech warrior, Order? Professor here, and Professor is going Order? to be walking with us into combat. I don't think I got any XP I can throw on anybody. Oh yeah, look at that. Guts or piloting. That's, I don't know, I don't really go in for that melee hit, though. So let's take the guts. Training confirmed, Commander. Whatever. I really have no clue what I'm doing here. So let's hit that contract real quick. We got one guy out, but we got all our mechs up. So we'll hit that, uh, let's get that paper. Make that paper, boo-boo. All right, so we ran the Shadowhawk last time for our guy, which is good, because we got, uh, Short range missiles, medium laser, and long range missiles, and then the AC5, which is kind of nice because we get a uh, professor. You're you're doing this. We get a good mixture of tactics on that. Behemoth and the Vindicator, quite a bit of armor, and they've got the bulwark ability. So if they just stand there, when you remain stationary, you get uh, damage reduction. This dude has got. Uh, Evasive movements, we stuck him in the spider, and he did a ton of work. Even though he's got real light weaponry, he did damn good. And the blackjack is just all around kind of any range. I was actually using the blackjack to do a lot more sniping with the AC2s. So, oh, we'll see how this goes. This could go nice, or it could go pretty terribly. We'll find out. 
All right, so one of the little tool tips before we begin this mission is that fixed defenses is always a mess, and they can target units from clear across the battlefield to stay alert. So we're going to have to, like, really watch how we approach. All right, no nearby reinforcements, but fixed gun emplacements. Move up, neutralize the turrets, and level that base. I can do that. Watch out for the garrison commander. It's nothing too dangerous, but every bit of damage costs. All right. Too easy. Let's grab our scout here in the spider. That's not the spider. We need... There we go. He was rocking it. I will tell you what. He was flipping rocking it. All right. Survey the scene. All right. So we can destroy the pirate garrison as an additional objective over that direction. And then we've got the smuggler base. Let's look at our approach options here. Oh, I'm not really a big fan of these uh, approach avenues. So we can come down the mountain here into the cover. We've got some cover overlooking here, so we'll need to get our long-range mechs up on that mountaintop and snipe off some stuff. So our blackjack and probably the uh, whatever that guy runs. So we could take Behemoth and Decker around the side here. Ooh, ooh! I don't know if I like that. I don't know what that color means. I know this is cover, so we're definitely going to sprint into some cover, gain some evasion. Behemoth, let's go ahead and sprint you up behind this rock. Just to get you all squared away. Shadowhawk, we're going to start moving the Shadowhawk around the back side. What is this purple? Geothermal. Only sink 50% of normal heat. Okay, what is that? Uh, rough terrain, movement speed redu reduction. Okay. It, you know, it helps if you read the tool tips. That's a uh, phenomenal thing to do. So we're going to divide and conquer on this. See if we can... Uh... There we go. There we go. All right, let's get that spider up and moving. And get him crack a lack in there, behemoth. Okay, so we've got enemy contacts. Select a unit or brace. Oh, I screwed up there. I screwed up! I was supposed to click things. Alright, so Decker, he's the first one to go. Whew. We could move up and get an 80% shot, but then we're open to that galleon there. I think we're doing better where we're sitting here. I don't think currently that we have too good a chance. Oh, 75%? Yeah, we're going to take that precision strike. Uh, let's reduce the initiative 80% on him. All right. Let's do a called shot. God, that's not looking, that's not looking good at all. Called shot on the front, but that's probably the heavily, heaviest armored. I don't know. They only got nine on the, on the sides. So, uh, let's, let, let's kill off the called shot. Let's just do... Vigilance. Yeah, we'll do Vigilance. And then we'll attack. That'll drop our accuracy a little bit. But we game guarded. We gain entrenched. And we still killed him. And that other truck looks like a uh, rocket pod truck. Which is good. Which is good. They're not too much direct damage. And they didn't do anything. That kind of concerns me. Alright, so what are we looking at here? I'm actually down with that kind of 80%, 70%. And we're going to take that shot. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go back to move. Oh, that's assuming we come up to here and then take the shot. You know, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. We'll gain one evasion. We lose the bulwark ability, but whatevs. Ooh, drop some frames there. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up with the PPC and the LRMs. This should off him. Beautiful. Didn't even need the LRMs. Didn't even need those. All right, so really, select a unit. Really, we shouldn't have too much... Ooh, I think that's an emplaced weapon. I don't know what that is. 
I don't like that. They're gonna have a damn turret generator. I just don't know where the turret generator is going to be. So we're gonna move up this uh, mountainside quite slowly until we're absolutely ready to crest that hill and take some shots. All right, I see a mech. It looks like a mech. All right, looks kind of like a mech. I can handle that. All right, let's go ahead and vigilance up, and then that's the end of him. Oh, I guess he can just brace. All right, Professor. We do really want Professor up around that way as well because these AC2s are extreme range. I don't know what kind of view we're going to get from up there. Sprint back along here because that's burning a turn, really. Just burn that turn. Try to get their mech to move into our sights, really. is the best thing I've got right now. Now let's go ahead and grab old Decker here. Old Decker needs to put some eyeballs on somebody. He he can jump, but he can't jump too terribly far. So how close can we move? We could move into here and then jump into this cover and possibly put eyes on that mech. But I, I fear it's too early because he's not going to have any fire support to do so. Let's look at sprinting. Things look good. Yeah, let's kind of keep him turned that way. I don't really want him off by himself because he is a lightweight, but he can always sprint his tail out of cover. There's the last remaining pieces of the garrison. Maybe we'll bait him over our direction. No, he's, he's coming up the hill. And that's a locust, so that's a lightweight mech. Doesn't look like we took any damage there, which is good. Drop the evasion, that's fine. That kind of removes the threat there. All right. You don't have a shot on that yet. Let's look at what old, what old aneurysm here has got going on. He doesn't have a direct shot except indirect fire at 10%. Not so much. Not so much. Dude, can we jump on him? Oh, we can't jump on him. If we could jump on him, that would be like where it's at. But yeah, I think we're going to jump and then shoot. A little bit of a risky move. But it's, I think, the best one we've got. Oh, no, it's really not. It's really not. And, yeah. Ugh, yarg. What can we do to improve those odds? That is my question right here. I hate to make the, the choice, the decision. We're going to try to get our 40 and 50 on the SRMs and the M lasers. Turn just enough to keep everything in sight. Really not digging this, but it's about the best we got. So let's take our shots. We are not going to shoot with the AC-5. We're not going to shoot with the LRMs. We're just going to fire 40 and 50 percent and hope the RNG is our buddy. It really wasn't. Structure exposed. It is what it is. Oh, dang. You're trying to snipe me. All right, Behemoth is going to basically walk off the edge here. 30 and 45, goodness gracious. Let's look at what Professor's got going on. If you just stand there and dack a dack, that's not good enough. That is not good enough for government work. We don't have the kind of uh, chances I thought we were going to have. That is disappointing. We got a 50-50 shot with the AC-2s from here, which I'm actually going to go ahead and take. I'll take two 50-50 shots. Seems to be one of my safer. We don't need to generate the heat. Let's just fire off the AC-2s. Well, we hit them. I don't know what we did other than hitting them. Behemoth, if you come up over here... 55 and 50. I'll take it. On my way. I will take that. It's not great. We'll drop the M laser. I mean, it's 35%. I just don't really want the heat generation. There we go. Knock down. Nice. Now we can go kick him while he's down. But it does buy us a little bit of time. 
is really the important part there. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Oh, that's no bueno. Damage minimal. They got some range on them. All right. We've got to find the generator for the turrets. So let's get Decker up around this corner. He's got to be able to put eyeballs on. If he sprints here, I don't know. I don't think he's going to have enough cover to really handle all that. Oh, he's going to be in the line of fire of all that stuff he hops up here. But I really need him to be putting eyeballs on the situation there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump, gain the evasion. Brace it up. He's going to try to stand up, which is good. Oh, he's hurting. He don't want no more of this. Look at him limping away. I love it. Yeah, I know. It's not much. It's a tiny little light mech. And he missed. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Alright, do we really want to use him can she does she got a snipe shot on him no she ain't got no snipe shot on him what are we gonna do about jumping I don't think we can double jump which is not good but we could jump onto there we can't go sprinting off of this rock so we're gonna have to take a jump I don't know if getting on this ridge or getting down there is, is the better option to be honest with you I think I'm just going to hop down. Stay at a line of fire. Get the blackjack kind of in cover. And then she can not do anything but brace. Alright, so my Shadowhawk may have to step back and get out of uh, contact range. Ooh, you don't have multi-target though. We could just go ahead and take the PPC and LRM shot on this guy. Try to get him gone. I like that idea. Let's see if we can just get him gone and be done with it. All done. All done. I like it. And the last one to go is right here. We can... This is going to put us, like, right in the thick of it, which I don't know if I like. We should probably wait on that. We could just go ahead and take a pop shot. So let's get our Vigilance cooked. And then let's just go ahead and fire off on Foam Boy. There we go. Had the wrong weapon selected there. Let's just 80% shot. It's not going to kill him. It'll let him know we're here, though. There you go. There's a good reminder. He's going to lose his evasion. He didn't take a whole lot in damage. That's that's not bad. We should not stand on ice. Wait, what is that? What? What? Okay, I was going to say, if that said turret generator behind it, I was about to be pissed. Commander. All right. So he gets the evasive movement, which is good. He really is not going to be able to shoot anything, but I need him to put eyeballs on targets, not really shoot anything. So let's get up here and brace. I want to find that turret generator. That's what I want. All right, brace it up. Excellent. Taking that vigilance action was probably one of the better ones we've, better ideas we've had in a while. I don't exactly want to be in everybody's field of view, but... I'm wondering if from here we get a multi-shot action. Maybe. Maybe. So we got a laser turret, reinforced building. I can't see the generator though. There's supposed to be generators for these stupid turrets. Medium buildings, reinforced buildings. Let's see if we got a multi-target going on. No. No multi-target. 
Well, we can just do a standard attack with the AC and the LRM. What does M Laser give us? Nothing to write home about. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a multi target. I got nothing. Nothing in range. I don't really want to spend the ammo on a turret. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. It's got 45 of 90 armor. So this is doing 45 damage. We could kind of put all of our eggs in the uh, in the AC5 basket and see what happens. That's kind of where my brain's at. Wish I could multi-target. I should have paid attention to my uh, my stuff. Oh. Wow. Well, that didn't do anything. I probably should have fired the rockets, huh? Oh, well, you live and you learn. And then Homeboy is going to be getting a snipe shot on us. Yeah. Damage minimal. Damage minimal, but it stacks up after some time. Alright, Behemoth needs to get her tail. Oh, not Behemoth. I need Professor. I need you jumping up to here. And you're on a 680. Ooh. Yeah, we're, we're going to take the chance. Give them a multitude of targets. Best we can do is force them to choose what they're going to shoot at. She can't multi-target, but she can drop a DAC on this guy, which I like. I think this is way overkill, but it's probably the best. Miss? Everything missed. The worst RNG ever. Behemoth. You can just 70% there, 70 there, 50 there, 70 there. Which is more dangerous, the scorpion or the turrets? That's my question. If you jump, that puts you a little closer and you still got indirect fire. So I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. And that takes you to 70, 80, and 80. Well, this turret's already looking a little little weak, so let's go ahead and just get it gone. That's one turret down. We'll just have to work them. Work the body so they're ready to drop. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. That blackjack took a few more rounds than I was really wanting him to. If I get him in nice and close here, he's lightly armored though. I don't think I want him playing that game. And he's not even gonna, oh yeah, he'd have a shot, but he has like zero cover. That's not good. He's got line of sight on that turret. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. And then take the 70% shot there, stay in cover. Did our move, let's go ahead. Shoot at the tank. Just enough. There we go. That's the new guy, isn't it? No, actually, the new guy is in uh, in one of the heavier mechs. Professor. The heavier mech here. She needs to be doing some work. Alright, so... Hmm, I don't really want to call it shot. I don't see a damn generator is an issue. But... We could go ahead and square this turret away. I guess we could just take Vigilance and then do our shot here. AC2. All right. I mean, that's what we got. We got the armor down there. Now, aneurysm here should possibly be able to do a multi-target shot here. And why can he not call the building for a multi-target shot? There we go. We can call the building for a multi-target shot. What's he got left? Let's look at A. Show me A. Show, show me, show me A. Show, show me A. All right, so he's got two hit points left. So we should probably drop the AC5 on the building. It's got a hundred, so that'll pull it down about halfway. What? We can't even. Can't even. All right. Screw it. Spread our fire. There we go. 
I'm starting to understand the uh, UI now. Enemy structure damage command. Yeah, that's about half its health. That's just about what we figured. Decided to save you guys the pain of watching me destroy buildings with nothing shooting back. It's just been like, bleh. A little bleh. So let's go ahead and fire off everything we got. At this last building, call the mission done. Oh, there's another stage. We gotta get to the evac zone. So, figured I'd show you guys this as I head to the evac zone. I got everybody stacked around the corner here, like a tactical stack, and we're just gonna come around and dack a dack on uh, on these turrets best we can. Just to say we could. We do have to move through the geothermal, which is not optimal, but I don't think we're going to generate too much heat throwing hate and discontent down here. Go ahead and shoot at the sniper turret. We took a pop shot at it with our uh, long-range missiles from around the corner. Not a huge deal. That's probably all she wrote. That's probably all she wrote. Really, we're just going to sprint on through. I mean, I don't see any reason to... Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, I don't see any reason to just be hanging out, acting a fool. So, we're going to move along. Should be the end of the mission before too long. Well, and this is the putting gimme gimme. Oh, she needs to brace up. Putting gimme gimme. Let's go ahead and walk our little tails into the evac zone. And that will be the end of the mission. We left one turret alive. Well done, Commander. Let's dust off and go home. Mission successful. Yay! The bar was so low for that mission, I could have stumbled and still made it over. But it's only the second mission I've done without training wheels. So that is what it is. We made 163 grand. So we got a 25% boost to our stuffs, which is good. I really don't know what the rest of this means. Magistrate of Canopus, whatever. I don't know. We didn't take enough damage to really sweat doing repairs, I don't think. Well, we do have 15 days to travel. We have two of threes for the Locust. Should we grab that salvage? Yeah, we'll grab that. AC5, LRM10, AC5 ammo, okay. What ifs? Sounds good to me. Of the things I complain about, this isn't one of them. Contact the Rimard Frontier? Huh. Executive Officer Darius. All right, everybody, gather around. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts. And I might, I repeat, might have caught us something. Our navigator, who's the client? Yeah, she doesn't talk like that at all. Our XO, Darius, unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message, but she claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. I don't know who those are. I should probably be better versed in the lore. But hey, she says she's got a big job lined up. She wants us for it. Us, specifically. She called the commander out by name. Hmm. How would she even know her name? It's not like we're drowning in publicity. Chief Mechtech Yang. Huh. Good question. I'm betting we don't have an answer. You're certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can list off about five different banks that all love to repossess this ship. We're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's back, Yang. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for what it's worth, I can confirm she's rich. She reached out to us with a, high, with a priority HPG message, and those things ain't cheap. Hey, look at that. You can highlight the text and it gives you background information. How about that? Rich is good. I like Rich. I didn't read the other ones. Rich is good, especially when we're drowning in debt. So do I, and the fact of the matter is we're hemorrhaging sea bills out here. Hey, we just did that job to fix that. It's worth the risk. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Eh. Our new client vents us out the airlock, and corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through the icy vastness of space. Act probably is the worst that could happen. Thanks for that delightful image, Yang. Look, Pony, I'll admit, this is sketchy as hell, but it's also the best lead we're likely to find. 
you want to follow up, plot a course to that system, client will be waiting. I'm not even going to try to butcher that system. All right, so that's going to wrap up episode one of Battletech. I'm going to just kill it here. Next episode, we'll do the benefactor contract, and it'll probably be a longer episode because these missions do take quite a bit of time. I'll be cutting a lot out of that last one because shooting at buildings is just kind of really boring. But uh, if you guys like what you see, leave a like, let me know, so I know what kind of where to put this on the priority list of things. I'm trying to run a couple different things at the same time. We'll see how that works. I've not been too good at that in the past. But, yeah, until next time, Pony Hair, Grog Games, signing off Battletech.